In New York City, video isn't just content, it's currency. From broadcasters and brands to content creators, sports teams and financial giants, NAB Show New York brings everyone together to explore trends, talent and tech shaping the future of storytelling. Well, it is nearing the end of day two at uh, NAB here in New York, and it's always a pleasure to come to the Bird Dog Stand. Uh, Dan, how has it gone for you? It's been a really good show. We've had a great show. I think uh, from the people that have been here, the actual just general feel of the show, and also for our booth as well, the amount of interest we've had with all of our new products. So we've really enjoyed being here in New York, as we always do, but uh, it's been a great show on the top of that. So. Lots of new products. Talk us through what we can see. All right, so I guess everything in a lot of ways is new at the Bird Dog booth. This time last year, almost everything we have here was not here. So we've been building out a whole product lineup. You've been busy. Yes, just a little bit. Some of my grey hairs come through. But uh, we um, probably, I think, have saved almost the best till last. And we've got two really exciting cameras plus a third surprise that we've had at the show here as well. So this one here is called the XL. So Bird Dog XL is XL in every way. It's quite a big camera, but it's got an extra large sensor in there, which means you've got really high quality images that come out of that. It's the kind of sensor you'd normally find in a mirrorless photography camera, so it's getting you ultimate image quality. There's a neat little surprise in here though, it's also got a second camera in the base, so it's actually two cameras in one. It does two, two things with that. One is that you've got your really high quality camera at the top, which has got up to a 40 times zoom in HD, or, or 20 times in 4K. Uh, and then you've got a wide shot that you can use with the bottom camera. So you, you can get two frames out of one camera if you're doing a live production or something. So you know, a crowd shot and then zoomed into someone that's performing. Is this pretty unique? It is pretty unique, absolutely. And this is all at 4K 60, really high image quality. The other thing it does with that second eye, if you like, is it really helps it with AI tracking. So we've been leaning pretty heavily into AI for a number of years now with uh, auto tracking and cameras. And the latest functions we've got in here means that if you've got someone that's on a stage that's doing a presentation, we can be zoomed right in and watching them. But the wide angle camera can see if someone else walks on the stage and then it'll zoom back and put them into the frame as well. Really smooth and looks like a cameraman's been operating it. So it's a, a really great uh, sort of way that we can use those cameras in two different ways that are really meaningful. So. That is incredible and uh, just offering so much more uh, to your customers. Absolutely. And probably the other thing that's uh, I think really exciting is just the amount of connectors on the back. Now that's pretty nerdy, but it can fit into any kind of um, production. Whether you're doing, we're pretty well known for NDI, uh, so whether you're doing NDI in high bandwidth or HX, we can work with that. But it also has SDI, it's got fiber optic ports on there, it's got XLRs, it can fit into anything. So it's, it's really cool. The other thing you might notice here is the colors have been changing as we've been talking. We've got our, what we call halo tally system on all of our cameras. Uh, so it gets people to look directly at the lens because the, the light lights up all around the lens. Uh, and we can program these to be like a normal tally camera where it goes red when it's live. But you can also set colors on these. So if you've got a presenter, you can say, look at the orange camera or look at the purple camera and they know which one to look at. So that's a one and two and three and all. Yeah, that's right, so it's quite neat. I'm conscious of time, so that's only one of our cameras that we're really excited next. about. Uh, next is the one above my shoulder, actually. It's called the O4. Now, it's an outdoor camera. It's, um, so it's IP66 rated, which means that you can leave it outside all the time. Uh, Weather doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Anywhere on the planet. So in Celsius, because I'm from Australia, is minus 40 to plus 60 degrees. So literally anywhere it can operate. It's incredible. Uh, so it's fantastic. It does uh, 4K 60. It's got a 30 times optical zoom. Uh, so it's really great for being mounted up on top of a stadium or on top of a building to, to get uh, you know, shots for weather forecasting and that kind of thing. Uh, but some of the cool features in that is, again, the connectivity. We can work with any kind of workflow. It has 12G SDI, fiber connections, NDI, everything on there. So really excited about that one as well. Um, and it's designed to fit into any kind of um, uh, installation or outdoor use that you can think of. So that's um, really brilliant. And then one finally, last little, this, the little surprise here, which is our X4E. So that's right, right in the middle of our range. And what we've done, our best selling product is what we call the X4 Ultra. And this one, we've kind of focused it a little bit more where it doesn't have Wi-Fi and it doesn't have a battery. It's designed for more permanent installations. But the exciting bit about that is it means it's a bit more affordable as well. So it's got a really large sensor in there. So again, excellent image quality. And it's uh, just built for everyday production where you need high quality images, great zoom, and, uh, and really easy control. So it's a really great middle ground in our product range. So, so are these shipping? They're all shipping either right now or in the next couple of weeks. They're in manufacturing and they're real, which is really exciting as well. So. And to think none of them existed this time last year. Absolutely, Whatever right. you're going to do next? 
I can't tell you because otherwise I'd be disclosing it and then everyone would know. So. Well, we'll come back and find out next Please year. Please do. There'll be more. So. Okay, thanks so much. Thank you.